Okay, we are at Lincoln State Park today. Um, had a beautiful day today, just could not pass it up. About 79 degrees, it's supposed to be in the low 80s. To me, that's uh, my ideal weather. So, I came out here to uh, do some, I guess they could call it deep forest uh, photography or uh, sometimes it almost looks like enchanted forest, forest photography. So I'm looking for uh, subjects that I can focus uh, uh, basically a, a viewpoint into um, the photo to where everything will kind of fade to black or um, it'll go from black fading into a subject area. Um, I've seen this um, done on s some other uh, photographers that have uh, done this trick. Um, it's using uh, neutral density filters and um, but then using post-processing to bring your eye into a central point into the photograph. So that's my uh, uh, object for uh, today's hike. Um, we are in uh, Blakely State Park. We are uh, doing the Skirmish Line Trail and I've just come to the intersection of Colonel Sheets Trail and this way going northwest will take us uh, onto the Skirmish Line Trail and where I'm actually uh, uh, my destination is uh, according to the map here there is a line of uh, a little creek called um, the baptism branch and there is a bridge that uh, takes uh, the siege line trail over this bridge and it actually goes into uh, the uh, colonel black trail and it's kind of like that's a, a little bit of loop the siege line trail continues on all the way to where the, um, the battlefield is. So I don't think we'll be going that far. My focus is to get to that bridge and uh, do some shooting there. And then I plan on going back to another trail that's in here that also has another uh, bridge water feature. Um, the park doesn't have too much uh, water as far as there's no waterfalls, there's no really rivers or anything like that. You've got the Tensile Delta and then there's some uh, little uh, creeks that uh, branch throughout the uh, park. The only main water area they have here is the beaver, uh, the, uh, I think they call it the beaver trail, um, beaver tail uh, trail, or beaver, I'm sorry, beaver pond trail. That is the correct one. I've done that hike many times. Um, and uh, that's basically the, the biggest amount of water that they actually have in this park. And it's been kind of dry, so I don't expect too much water in these little, I don't know if you can call them tributaries off of that lake going into the, uh, uh, the Tensal uh, River. But, uh, you know, I'll take whatever I can get, especially like on a day today. I mean, it's just beautiful. There's not a cloud in the sky, so I'm not going to focus much on uh, sky into these. I, my focus today is strictly forest photography and in the uh, style that I just uh, uh, explained. So we'll see how it turns out. Um, from here we've got uh, looks like maybe a uh, not even a quarter mile of a hike to get to the, uh, the bridge and we will continue on from there.
what a fantastic day to be out on the trails. I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, crickets, tree frogs, cicadas, I don't know what they uh, would be in the summer like it is right now, but they are active. Haven't uh, heard too many birds. I've heard uh, a hawk uh, wailing in the distance up there. But uh, as far as wildlife, I have not seen anything. Um, this is uh, Memorial Day weekend, so I'm surprised I haven't seen more people on the trail yet. But I'm sure that's probably going to change uh, either probably, you know, tomorrow, definitely Monday. Um, but it seems like right now we uh, have the uh, trail all to ourselves, which uh, I'm not complaining at all. And just enjoying the walk. again on the siege trail the sun is bright there's not a cloud in the sky lots of flies but uh, I've been rewarded with uh, seeing a lot of dragonflies too so I might be able to uh, do a few capture uh, on at least the, the dragonflies and uh, um, I don't worry too much about uh, the mosquitoes because uh, I uh, pretty much uh, bathe myself in uh, in deep you know to take care of uh, anything with the mosquitoes we we'll just enjoy this uh, walk well I think I've just found my first subject for uh, this uh, forest uh, landscapes so going along the trail here we've actually come down a little bit of a hill and the path winds around here. You just kind of almost got a, a, a nice figure S going in through there. So I'm going to set up and get a, a shot of this. And of course, the focus of the uh, the subject will be the path itself as it uh, wanders through the the forest here. And I'll be darkening both sides of the uh, the trees themselves i like how we've got these leading trees here that basically give you that leading lines all along with that trail and i think uh, i think i like that I've got this set at uh, F16 to uh, get as uh, much of the uh, picture uh, in focus on this. Um, my focus again is going to be on the path and I will concentrate on those different areas you can see as this path goes around where the light is coming through the trees. That will be my focal point. Uh, I'm at, uh, again, at uh, F16, uh, ISO uh, 2000, um, there's a lot of light in here, and I've got a, a shutter speed of 1 of a second, using a, a polarizer to bring out the greens, and then I will actually take several shots here, and it'll be an HDR bracket, so I'll take uh, one with uh, two stops under and one with two stops uh, over. And then in the post-processing, we'll put those together and I'll use uh, the darker one as uh, the image for, or the uh, photo for kind of uh, darkening out the, uh, the woods. That one's gonna be to draw your line, or your, your, your eyes to this path as it basically is going down this way and it goes this way and then off to the uh, left.
second spot. Um, this is uh, the bridge that uh, I was talking about before that goes over the baptismal uh, creek, I guess they call it. Um, I'll post it down below or in the, in the video what uh, this actual creek is. But let me show you. So we had enough rain, I guess, that uh, had this uh, creek going pretty well. I haven't seen it go this strong in a while, but we do have a little bit of a water feature there. We have the bridge that goes across there. We have a couple of uh, trees that uh, will kind of give us a, a, a little bit of a vignetting. And I think this will uh, turn out really well. We shall see. Now we come into my next photograph for this hike. This is the third stop on this trail. So this is my next uh, bridge. Um, the little creek they have running underneath this is not as active as that first one that we stopped by on the um, a skirmish trail so um, this is uh, along the siege line trail and this bridge here it's got uh, a little bit of water running through it but it's uh, very slow um, it's probably about a foot and a half in some places um, so there's it, there's water here and there's a couple of branches that uh, break off on this side of it going in further into the forest but uh, I think we're going to make a go of this one here. Uh, again, uh, my focus is going to be the path itself over the bridge, and then the path basically goes uphill for a while, and then it branches off into a T further up there, going towards the battlefield itself. So I'm going to set up here and then shoot out this way. Um, again, I'll be uh, bracketing my shots for an HDR, but uh, the focus uh, as far as uh, where the uh, subject is going to be will be this trail, the bridge itself, and then several places where the light is coming through the trees up the uh, path. And we'll see how that works. Mm -hmm. 